Amen. Let's turn to the book of John chapter 20. Twende katika kitabu kia Yohana sura ya kia ishirini. Brother Arve, I don't know why I feel so strong you should come and read the scripture for me. <laughs> I've been trying to put it aside but it keeps coming. Just Blue call him to come and read. <laughs> Let me be obedient. Uh, uh, you have it on your phone. So we are reading from the book of John chapter 20. Yohana sura ya kia ishirini. And uh, verse 1 to 18. So it's 18 verses. But it's a wonderful uh, record of the resurrection Sunday. So um, I just wanted one person to read it together so that all of us can follow and and understand what happened on that resurrection Sunday. Karibu. Yes. I will read it all or you will translate as I read. Just read. Okay. Let's read. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance. So she came running to Simon Peter and the other disciples, the one Jesus loved, and said, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we don't know where they have put him. So Peter and the other disciples started for the for the tomb. Both were running, both, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent over and looked in at the strips of linen lying there, but did not go in. Then Simon Peter came along behind him and went straight into the tomb. He saw the strip, stripes of linen lying there, as well as the cloth that had been wrapped around Jesus' head. The cloth was still lying in its place, separate from the linen. Finally, the other disciple, who had reached the tomb first, also went inside. He saw and believed. They still did not understand from Scripture that Jesus had to rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to where they were staying. Now... Mary stood outside the tomb crying. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the foot. They asked her, Woman, why are you crying? They have taken my Lord away, she said, and I don't know where they have put him. At this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not realize that it was Jesus. He asked her, Woman, why are you crying? Who is it that you are looking for? Thinking he was a gardener, she said, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will get him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned toward him and cried out in Aramaic, Rabuni, which means teacher. Jesus said, Do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and to your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went to the disciples with the news. I have seen the Lord. And she told them that she had said that he had said these things to her. Amen. Amen. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, we just want to thank you for this wonderful day. Yes, Lord. Thank you for this powerful day, the Resurrection Sunday, mm. the day that we can celebrate yes. and boldly stand here and declare mm. that yes. our God is alive. Yes, and thank you because this is the foundation of our Christian faith. Mm. And today as we celebrate, 
we pray that fill our hearts with joy yes. and may your word today minister to us mm. in a very special way yes. in jesus name we pray and believe amen 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 so today i want to continue with the series that i've been doing from last sunday for those who have been joining us and that is on the title the emotions of the holy week na hiyo ni hisia za wiki mzima yes the last week of jesus i hope emotion ni hisia na jana tumia swahili kongo <laughs> so last Sunday we looked at the emotions of the Palm Sunday. How people walked into Jerusalem praising Jesus uh, riding on a donkey. With very, with very high expectations that Jesus finally is going to conquer Rome and give them the freedom that they have been yearning for. And on this last week of Jesus, he, he dwelt around Jerusalem. So on Monday, he came back to the city. And this the day he went to the temple. And he found people selling and, and doing whatever they are doing in the temple. And he took a whip and and he cleaned the temple hallelujah hallelujah and then on the tuesday jesus goes to the mount of olives which is one of the mountains surrounding jerusalem and he gave the great sermon found in matthew 23 where he looked over to the city and said Whoa, unto you city who does not recognize your time of visitation and on Wednesday Jesus retreated to his friend's place in Bethany and he rested and then on Thursday that is what was the one of the heaviest days Jesus comes back to the city and he sits to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. He washes the feet of his disciples and he serves bread and, and drink and he tells them that I am going to die for your sins. Yeah, then people get disappointed. This is not what we expected. What is happening now? And Jesus goes to the mountain of Gethsemane. And he cried and prayed the whole night. He was preparing for the following day. Which was the Good Friday. And on that Good Friday is when all the hope went down. Jesus was crucified and he died. Do you know there are people who never believed? <laughs> they never believed that really Jesus died? This one who raised Lazarus? Who did all these miracles? Surely, did he die? It left people shocked. And then yesterday, Jesus was just resting in the grave. Praise Alikuwa the Lord. To Amen. And today, Na leo, something new happens. Kitu that Jesus Uyo yes. rises from Alla the dead. Praise the Hallelujah. Lord. He rises from the dead. And that's why we have the confidence to stand here and speak about what emotions 
happened on that Sunday morning a morning like today over 2000 years ago when Jesus rose from the dead on that morning we had two camps we have the followers of Jesus and those who loved Jesus and you can imagine what was happening about their feelings on that Sunday morning. And then we, had a, we have another camp. The religious leaders the Roman rulers who were also holding somewhere because they had heard that this guy had promised that on the third day will rise again so don't think they were sleeping they were also going through emotions <laughs> what if it is true what if that guy rises from the dead what will we say what will we do so we have these two camps so the followers of Jesus are still mourning no, they are still crying and weeping and mourning some are, some are still confused some are hiding like Peter and his friends after they, were, they fled and they were hiding somewhere inside a house somewhere in Jerusalem like Mary the mother of Jesus she was going through grief she has lost her son through a very through a very painful death and maybe there were some people who had some little hope that maybe Jesus will resurrect there were those who were disappointed that they had a lot of hope on this guy and he brought their hopes down there were those who were heartbroken they had invested everything in the cause of Jesus Christ they had left their families and their businesses to follow Jesus some of them had invested a lot of emotions and now they were heartbroken they were feeling a great loss some of them like Peter and the other disciples maybe they were feeling guilty and failures they had abandoned their friend at the hour of need and on this Sunday morning they are feeling so guilty those are the emotions Is of the followers of Jesus on a Sunday morning. It was difficult. And then they get this report. His body has been stolen. Now imagine on top of all these emotions now they have even gone to the body of the dead and they have taken it away. How do you think these people are feeling? They were feeling broken. And then quickly we have the other camp of the rulers. Do you know that they received information very early in the morning? Sunday. They were the first ones to know that what? Jesus had resurrected. Not even the followers of Jesus. When Mary and the other disciples came, they didn't find the body. They went back saying they have stolen the body. But that was not the truth. The truth is that the rulers had gotten this information that something spectacular 
Aquila had happened that Sunday morning. And the soldiers who were guarding the tomb. They came and told them that guy was really the son of God. You guys, you don't know what happened. There was an earthquake. But you know, angels came down and they rolled the stone away. And that guy rose from the dead. We saw it with our eyes. And then the rulers were like, okay, now, this is a nightmare. <laughs> what are we going to do now? Then they, I want you to see, this is Sunday morning. This is the resurrection morning. In, 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 the, in, the, in the courts of Pilate, no, yeah, nobody is sleeping. Also, they are calling board meetings. All the soldiers call the religious leaders. What are we going to do? Did it really happen? Someone said, and I believe this one must be a Kenyan. So long as we have money, money ni sabuni aroho. In English, money is the soap of the cards. You know, money can solve problems. Money can wash away that. And they were like, now, where do you have money? Money will solve this problem. So they took the soldiers, the ones who saw the miracles, the miracle of resurrection. And the Bible says that they gave them a lot of money. And they told them, please, shh. Don't say what you saw just go and say that the disciples came and stole the body those were typical Kenyan politicians so that they hide the truth. Why? Because Kwa there was confusion in their camp. There was fear in their camp. They were calculating what are we going to do. These were the emotions on the other camp. On a Sunday morning. But praise the Lord. I want to give you a third camp. What do you think was happening in heaven? Hallelujah. Where was God the Father? Where was God the Father? God the Father. You remember on Friday, <laughs> he was looking away. And there was total darkness. But on Sunday morning, he was looking down and he was saying, this is my son. This is my boy. He will show them who is really his. And the angels in heaven, they were celebrating because they knew what was happening. Jesus was breaking the power of death. And the grave will not hold him. And I believe there was celebration in heaven. Not only for the resurrection of Jesus. But what that resurrection means. The salvation of mankind. God was saying finally it is here. I am finally reconnected to my people. I believe God it was emotional that morning. He looked back to Genesis chapter 3. When sin separated man and God. 
ilimtenga Mungu na And God had been looking for the solution. Na Mungu alikuwa anatafuta surulisho for thousands of years. Miaka elfu. He had raised Abraham thinking that through him we will form a special people for himself. Alinua Abraham akifikiria kumtokea yeye kutatoka watu wote. Abraham and his descendants failed him. Na Abraham na kizazi chake pia nao vikashindikana. He brought kings and rulers and priests. Akaleta wafalme watawala they failed him makuhani lakini mambo yakashika he brought a sacrifice system akaleta mambo ya sadaka 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 that's what jesus was destroying on monday because they were just slaughtering animals but that was not a solution na hiyo ndio ileta walikuwa wanachinja tu wanyama wanachinja wanyama lakini hakukua solution this sunday morning lakini jumapili kama hii asubuhi the final answer was gotten we shall lipatikana jesus yes the perfect lamb of God ambaye mwana kondoo wako had done the ultimate sacrifice alifanya sadaka ya ajabu and all sins were atoned na zambi zote zikasamea and i believe god was just standing there na mimi mungu alikuwa tu hapo and he was saying finally alikuwa anasema oh kwa mwisho i can say alvin my son come back home nasema mwanangu rudi nyumbani sasa umefanya kazi imekwisha Maria my daughter come back home Maria mwanangu binti wangu rudi njoo nyumbani because now the way has been made sababu tayari njia imepatikana praise the lord bwana yesu asifiwe those were the emotions Ito in heaven he see the mbinguni amen amen praise the lord amen what was a sorrowful morning hiyo iliyokuwa asubuhi yenye uzuni na uchungu actually was turned into a celebration ilikeuzwa kuwa asubuhi ya kusherekea it turned into hope ikageuzwa kuwa asubuhi ya matumaini and in a few minutes na kwa dakika chache i want us to sit more practically nataka tuone hali uh, practically kiswahili sasa hiyo uh, okay we want to see it tunataiona wazi through the story of one woman kupitia hadithi habari ya mwanamke mmoja this woman woman mke has a special background iko na historia ya maana sana she was sick alikuwa mgonjwa mentally mgonjwa wa kichwa 100% kabisa yenyewe kikamilifu yenyewe she was a mad woman alikuwa kama mwenda wazimu who used to walk on the road ambaye alikuwa anatembea barabarani you know if you have ever seen mad people kama umewahi ona wenda wazimu zaidi sana huko kwetu wa huko ngambo but spiritually speaking ukweli katika hali ya kiroho she was demon possessed alikuwa na mapepo In fact the Bible says that Jesus cast out seven demons out Biblia of her. Biblia inasema Yesu alikemea na alifukuza kutoka mwanamke huyu mapepo saba. And seven simply means perf- perfect perfect number. Saba inamaanisha tu namba kamili. So it may not be wingi. it may not be that it was actually seven demons counting but it means that she was perfectly demon possessed inamaanisha kweli alikuwa na jana mapepo yenyewe and in the ministry of jesus she had met him na katika huduma ya yesu alikutana naye and jesus had cast out these demons na yesu alikuwa amekemea amefukuza mapepo kutoka ndani ya mwanamke huyo and there are other people who say that she was a prostitute na kuna wengine walisema alikuwa malaya Uh, that one uh, when i read my bible very carefully there is no enough biblical you know evidence to us that naposoma biblia sana hakuja kuwa mazungumzo mengi sana uhakika ndani ya biblia lakini ukweli ni kwamba and this woman was called mary magdalene alikuwa anaitwa maria magdalene on this sunday morning na asubuhi jumapili i want you to walk with me with mary magdalene natamani tutembee na huyu maria magdalene In the scripture that we read katika ndiko tuliyosoma it says that early on the first day of the week inasema asubuhi mapema hiyo while it was still dark na ilikuwa ikingali bado giza Mary Magdalene went to the tomb Maria Magdalena kaelekea kaburini and now she stood outside the tomb alipokuwa akisimama hapo nje ya kaburi and she started crying na kaanza kulia 
Why? Kwa nini? Because when she came to the tomb, sababu alipokuja hapo karaburini, she bended over alinama hivi akachungulia and she didn't see the body of Jesus. Hakuona mwili wa Kristo. She had come to give Jesus a proper burial. Alikuja kumpatia Yesu samani yenyewe. So she had come with some anointing oil. Alikuja na manukato fulani so that she will emblem and you know anoint the body. Ili apake mwili wa Kristo tena. As the tradition was. Kama vile asili yao ilikuwa nafanyika. And then she didn't find the na body. Shida na uzuni kubwa hakupata mwili wa Kristo. And then she stood na at the tomb. Hapo kwa kaburi she remembered what jesus had done for her arime kalikumbuka ila yesu alifanya kwa ajili yake she remembered how jesus changed her life alikumbuka namna gani yesu alibadilisha maisha yake and the bible says that she started crying na biblia inasema akaanza kulia then na baada somebody appeared na mtu akajitokeza and asked her na akamuuliza guman why are you crying kwa nini unalia whom do you seek ni unamtafuta nani why are you weeping kwa nini unalia mary was weeping and crying maria magdalena alikuwa analia na kuhuzunika kabisa because she was disappointed alikuwa amekata tamaa na She has, she had misunderstood who Jesus was. Alikuwa hakuelewa vizuri Yesu alikuwa nani kulingana yeye. And the body had been stolen. Na mwili wake umeibwa. She stood there crying. Akasimama hapo akilia. She remembered how the bad people on Friday had killed her savior. Alikumbuka namna gani watu wabaya walimua Yesu hiyo siku ya Ijumaa. She had seen Jesus die. Aliona Yesu namna gani alifariki. She was going through mourning and sorrow. Ni hali ya kilio kuhuzunika kabisa. And she was crying. Na alikuwa analia na kuomboleza. And then someone come asking her, "Why are you weeping?" Kwa hiyo mtu anakuja anamuuliza, "Kwa nini unalia?" There are many times that people ask us that question. <laughs> Kuna mara mingi watu wengi wanatuliza maswali magumu kama haya. Why are you crying? Kwa nini unalia? Why are you mourning? Kwa nini unaomboleza? Why are you stressed? Kwa nini una uzuni usoni? Why are you going diff- through this, you know, a lot of thoughts? Kwa nini unapitia hii mawazo mengi? Maybe they may never understand. Our disappointments in life. Hali ambayo tunayopitia katika maisha. Maybe they never understand what evil men and women have done to us. Labda hawajakuelewa mambo mabaya ambayo watu wabaya wametutendea. Maybe they don't understand what you have lost. Hai labda inawezekana hawajaelewa ni nini umepoteza. And maybe they can never really understand what you lost. Na inawezekana hawataewai hataelewa nini umepoteza. And they ask you why are you crying? Na watakuuliza kwa nini unalia? Why are you weeping? Kwa nini unaomboleza? But there's something nice I want us to learn from Mary Magdalene. Lakini kuna kitu kizuri nataka tujifunze kutoka kwa Maria Magdalene. She went to seek Jesus alienda kumtafuta Yesu Ali in the morning asubuhi mapema she was looking for Jesus honestly alikuwa anamtafuta kabisa sana she didn't cover her tears na kufuweza kufunika makufunga machozi yake she went there with all her struggles about what had happened na, around the life of Jesus alienda na hiyo uzuni akikumbuka yale yote aliyompata Yesu and even when she didn't find the body na wakati alipofika hapo tena hakupata mwili wa Kristo you remember the text unawakumbuka andiko she ran back to the house alikimbia kirudi nyumbani where the rest were hiding mali wengine walikuwa na kijificha and told them na akawaambia that the body is not there peter and john and the other disciples 
ran to the tomb. Petro na Yohana na wengine wafasi wakakimbia kaburini. They even went inside the tomb. Na wakaingia hadi ndani. They took the clothes and they found that the body was not there. Kachukua mavazi wa Kristo wakakutana mwili hauko. What they did they went back to the house. Waliofanya wakarudi tena nyumbani. But if you listened to the scripture reading carefully, kafata maandiko vizuri. It said that Mary stayed at the tomb. Biblia inasema Maria yeye alibaki hapo kaburini. And when she stayed, na alipobaki hapo. It is when Jesus appeared to her. Sababu yeye alibaki hapo ndipo Yesu akajitokeza kamaonekania. And he told and called her name and said Mary akamuita kwa jina Maria and then she heard that is the voice of Jesus and then yes. she said my lord or Asa, my teacher bwana wangu rabuni mwalimu wangu Mary was the first one to go to look for Jesus and she even stayed even when others came and didn't wow. find what they were looking and went back. Acha nikwambie Maria alikuwa ndio wa kwanza kuenda kwa burini na akabaki pia na akaona wengine walipoenda walikuwa wamerudi tayari. She stayed longer enough alibaki muda mrefu ya kutosha to experience kuona hiyo Jesus Christ. Yes, Christ. That is the miracle of resurrection Sunday. Hiyo ndio mjiz- wa ufufuko wa Yesu that those who seek Jesus wale wanaomtafuta Yesu they will find him watampata praise the lord hallelujah and those who linger longer na wale wanaomsubiria kwa muda mrefu those who even wait even after the the first disappointment wale hata wanaosubiria baada ya kuvunjika moyo they will be rewarded watalipiwa by the very presence of Jesus na presence ama uwepo wa Yesu and that is why Mary Magdalene hapo ndi sababu who was not even among the 12 hakukwata katika idadi ya watu wanafunzi who was just a woman alikuwa tu mwanamke ah ah you know ah uh, who was demon possessed before alikuwa na mapepo hapo zamani she was a nobody alikuwa haiko mtu yoyote but she was the first of the followers of Jesus to meet Jesus after resurrection she went to seek the lord alienda kutafuta bwana praise the lord hallelujah my message to us this sunday morning ujumbe wangu jumapili ya leo is that jesus is no longer in the grave ili kwamba yesu hayupo tena kaburini praise the lord amen but we need to seek him lakini inabidi tumtafute early in the morning like mary magdalene asubuhi asubuhi mapema kama vile maria magdalene let's go to find jesus acha twende tumtafute yes in the midst of our disappointments katika katikati ya kuvunjika moyo kwa let us go and look for jesus acha twende tumtafute yes in the midst of our pain and sorrow katika hali ya maumivu yetu in the midst of our misunderstanding of the situation hali ya kutokuwa in the midst of feeling failures like Peter kujisikia kushindwa kama vile Petro in the midst of even not feeling anything katika hali hata kutokusikia jambo lolote even when we don't and to really understand hata tuelewe jambo lolote Mary Magdalene Maria Magdalene she went not to see the resurrected Christ hakuenda kutafuta Yesu aliyefufuka she went to look for the body alienda tafuta mwili hallelujah hallelujah hmm that is how much she loved jesus even if your yes alipenda yesu maria even when christ disappointed her by dying on the cross hata kama alipolea kwa kuona yesu akikufa msalabani she didn't go back home and say that was just a lie hakuenda nyumbani akusema ah huyu kumbe alikuwa akishi even went to look for the body alienda tafuta hata mwili wa bwana wake yesu kristo How many of us feel that God has disappointed you? Wangapi wetu wanasikia labda Mungu amewadanganya amewaa. And you don't want anything to do with God. Na hupendi cha kufanya hata na Mungu na sababu hiyo Mungu huyo. You don't even want to hear anything to do with God. You say no that one disappointed me. Hupendi hata yakusikia sababu Mungu huyu Mungu acha ndeseveare huyu hapana. Even after disappointment. Hata baada ya deception the heart of mary was reaching out Moyo for jesus you wa maria magdalena alikuwa tu na yeye wa kumtafuta hapo she was rewarded sab na alilipiwa 
praise the Lord. Don't give up on God so easily. When you pray and you find that your prayers are not being answered the way you expect it. Still seek him. Because he is found. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And this is to remind us of, about our relationship with other people. Also. Look at me now, I'm finishing. This is practical now. Don't easily give up on people. Praise the Lord. Amen. Don't say, oh, when they were alive, I will look for them. But now I hear they are dead. Why should I even look for the dead bodies? Because we are talking about Resurrection Sunday. With God, even dead bodies can be raised. Hata Come again. Dead bodies can be raised. Dead relationships can be raised. Dead visions can be raised. Some of us give up too early. And we miss on our blessing. Mary stayed longer. She even looked for a dead body. Even when she didn't find it, she stayed and lingered longer. And she was blessed to be the first one to experience the resurrected Christ. Don't give up too early. Praise the Lord. Amen. Even when it seems dead. God can raise it from the dead. Don't give up on your child. Even if they seem they have walked away so far from the Lord. Even if everybody else seems to have given up on them and labeled them. Stay long. Still believe. Hold on faith. God can do a miracle. When you stay long. When you still seek him. God will reward you. Praise the Lord. Some of us had visions in life. When you were in your twenties, you had this vision and dream. You wanted to conquer the world. But now you look back and you say, oh, those who are wishful, wishful thoughts. Don't give up. Don't give up. Stay longer. Keep seeking the Lord. Through your pain. Some of us have gone through pain for a long, long, long time. You have sought the Lord. You have been seeking God. You have attended meetings. You have even gone to look for the prophets. While others have been healed, you, you have gone back with your pain back home. Stop looking for the prophets. Seek Christ. Don't give up. Don't give up. Hallelujah. Stay longer. Stay longer. You may think you're going to look for the body. But you will meet the resurrected Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 And this is God's word to you, Pastor Safari. And the church that is being born here today. Seek the Lord. Amen. Linger, seek him 
hard. Amen. And you will find him. Amen. I receive it. The visions that God gave you. Hmm. The place where you think you're going to look for a body. Hmm. The place that looks like it's a graveyard. Hmm. The place that looks like even the body is not in the grave. Hmm. It's my message. That's why I'm not interpreting. That is why you will re- experience Amen. the resurrected Amen. Christ. Amen. I just pray that this church here in Kongsberg will be a church that seeks Christ. Amen. A praying church. Amen. A church that stays behind, still waiting. Hallelujah. While others are giving up. Mm. Like Peter, they have come to the grave. They have not seen anything. They have given up. They have gone back hiding. Mm. Stay back. Amen. Linger longer. Amen. And you will meet the resurrected Christ. Hallelujah. I just pray that this church will be a church where those people have given up in their Christian faith. Those who have given up with God because they have disappointed from society, from another experience, from other churches, they will come to the International Family Church, Kongsberg, and meet the resurrected Christ. Amen. Because in this church, people seek Christ. Hallelujah. They stay longer mm. to seek him. Mm. While other people will be seeking for numbers, others will be seeking for money, Others will be seeking for fame. I pray that this church will be known as the church that seeks the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And when people come here, they will benefit by experiencing the risen Christ. Amen. Because you are a people that seek Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want to pray and finish and uh, release those ones who are on Facebook Live. Amen. Are you going through pain today? Are you going through disappointment? Have you given over and you have already moved on? That's what the disciples of Jesus were experiencing that Sunday morning. But they were bold enough to go and seek the Lord. In the grave. Who goes back to the graves? Is there a grave in your life? Is there a place in your relationship, in your family, in your work, in any area of your life, in your finances that you consider grave? And some of you are even saying, Pastor, don't remind me, don't remind me of those places. Those are places of the dead. That one we buried and we finished. Sunday morning, resurrection morning reminds us there is life Kuna uzima. and they can be life Kuna uai, even in the graveyard Hata because of the power of resurrection. Ya nguvu ya Praise the Lord. Amen. Some of you, today I feel very prophetic. Acha labda leo ikuwe siku kama ya unabi. Some of you here, God will send you back to your graves. Not all of you, don't say now pastor told us to go back and look for the things that we left uh, behind. Some of you, 
when God sends his word it's not for everybody you know this one may be just for one person here so don't go grabbing everything this one may be just for one person here so don't go grabbing everything this one may be just for one person here so don't go grabbing but you know when it is yours the holy spirit will will confirm it in your spirit lakini kama ni ujumbe wako roho mtakatifu atahakikisha ndani yako and maybe there is one or two here and god is saying you need to go back kuna watu labda mmoja ama wawili ambao mungu yuko anambia na lazima urudi huko to that relationship you thought it's buried and dead kwa hiyo uhusiano ambao ulifikiria labda ilishakufa na kuzikwa to that employer that you you say i'll never go back there kwa hiyo mtu aliyopata kazi alisema ah huyo ilishakufa na kuzikwa some of you god will be calling you to go back to those countries where you say that one god saved me now me no i'll never go back there kuna wale wengine bwana atawaambia murudi tena kwa hizo engine hizo watumwa huko nasema ah ah mimi singeenda katena huko hey hallelujah amen Are you listening to the prophet of God? <laughs> some of you, God will be calling you back to some visions that God gave you. Bwana atawaita kwa hiyo maono aliyowapatia. And now you have left that vision. Na sasa umeacha hiyo maono because you think there is something new. Sasa unafikiria kuna kitu kipya. You are now pursuing it. Na huko na kitu. Ah, that Apu. one which you think it's it's already buried is in the graves. Imezikwa unafikiria. God is saying to you this morning. Bwana anakutuma asubuhi is where you will meet the resurrected Christ. You need to go back to the graveyard. Stay longer there. Keep seeking the Lord there. Among the graves. Wait for him. And you will meet him there. The resurrected Christ. What is God saying to you? Amen. Seek the Lord. Tafuta Bwana. Hallelujah. Amen. Father in the name of Jesus. Yes Lord. We want to thank you for the power of resurrection. Yes. Thank you that there is life even yes. after death. Mm. Thank you because the graves yes. is not the end of the story. Mm. There can be life after the grave. Father, I pray that may you release the power of resurrection to someone's grave this morning. Yes, Lord. Lord, may you release the power of resurrection to someone's work this morning. Yes, Lord. May you release that power of resurrection. Yes, Lord. To the ministry of someone this morning someone abandoned their ministry and they say that one is dead i even know god said it's finished i'm now looking for a new ministry yes, god you're calling them back and there they will meet you yes Lord. i pray like mary magdalene help us this morning to seek you even among the graves to seek you in our pain yes. to keep seeking you in our disappointments you, to keep Jesus. seeking you lord in our fears in our failures in our in in whatever situation we are in right now yes. even in our loss in our death help us to keep seeking you let our faith rise above the dead you, and above the situation mm. and know that we serve a living god yes and even among the graves we can meet him. even father when we come and we don't find you when we come and we don't find the body hmm. when we come and pray and we don't see answers when we trust you for healing and nothing seems to be happening god when we trust you for open doors and we still are in darkness father i pray that may you give us the spirit of mary magdalene that we may stay longer yes lord we may not easily give up stay longer even if it means standing there and weeping and crying but she was there crying and staying longer yes and jesus you rewarded our faith you rewarded our honesty our diligence in seeking you and she experienced you the resurrected christ i pray the lord empower us to stay longer in faith we pray for this church in kongsberg 
that this will be a place where people will seek the Lord. Yes, Lord. This will be a church that will be known where people stay longer Sing in me. prayer, in the word, in faith, seeking yes, God. Lord. We pray that this church will be a place where the resurrected Christ will be experienced by boys and girls and men and women that those who have given up on their faith they will come here and their faith will be resurrected Hello. those who have given up in life they will come here and they will be given a new lease of life yes. and those lord who are in pain they will come yes. here and receive the power of god yes, we pray that this will be a christ seeking center yes where people seek the Lord. As we go, Lord, into this day, we pray that your Holy Spirit will minister this word deep into our hearts yes, Lord. and help us to stay longer. Mm. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Let's appreciate Amen. the Amen. Lord. Shangalia, buana. Hallelujah. Shangalia, kwa jira neno Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Seek the risen savior tafteni bwana aliyefufuka stay longer na ubaki hapo muda mrefu if it means going back to the graves go there and Ata seek the lord there mchana kurudi huko kaburini rudi huko endelee kumtafuta maria magdalene that is where your breakthrough is na labda hapo ndipo ufungulifu wako huko kutoboa kwako amen